Today I'll be talking about a book called Beach Read by Emily Henry. Here's an excerpt. I have a fatal flaw. I like to think that we all do. Or at least that makes it easier for me when I'm writing. Building my heroines and heroes up around this one self-sabotaging trait. Hinging everything that happens to them on specific, one specific characteristic. The thing they learn to do to protect them, themselves and can't let go of. Even when it stops serving them. Maybe, for example, you didn't have much control over your life as a kid. So, to avoid disappointment, you learned to never ask yourself what you truly wanted. And it worked for a long time. <laughs> Only now, upon realizing you didn't get what you didn't know you wanted, you're barreling down the highway in a midlife crisis mobile with a suitcase full of cash and a man named Stan in your trunk. While this seems like a crazy start, Beach Reads is really, at its depth, about a girl who is learning to love people, even based on their flaws. I think this is a lesson that we can all learn. Aug January Andrews has moved into a beach house that per previously belonged to her father, who was having an affair with her mother who had cancer. This is a lot to deal with for her because in the past, things have always gone her way. She's had two parents who have loved each other, she's had a very successful writing career, and everything has always just seemed to fall into place. But once she discovers this secret about her father, she must move into this beach house and discover what really went wrong because she can't cope with the fact that her dad might be someone who was lying to her all this time. As she lives there, she has a next door neighbor who coincidentally is also a writer and is someone she went to college with. They form an enemy type friendship and pose each other with a challenge. I bet you can't write in a style that you haven't already written with. January is Miss Happiness in Fairy Tales, and her next door neighbor writes in a serious mystery kind of vibe, and never writes with a happy ending. So, they challenge each other to push themselves to their writing limits, and give each other a time frame. Three months. The end of the summer. While this happens, they start to develop a deeper friendship, and many other lessons are learned along the way. But overall, the overarching lesson of this book is that you must learn to know people not just based on what you know about them now, but you need to give people a second chance to explain themselves because you may learn more about them than you ever expected. I got this book at Barnes & Noble and I think it's a great book read for anyone who is stuck in a snowstorm or just any other time. After all, it is a beach read and we could all use a little bit more sand and sun in our lives. Thank you.